So at this point, we are finished our form. So let's finish that. And now we can go into the solid model environment and start finishing our piggy bank. So we have to think about this first of all, we would like to hollow out the inside of our body. And actually, if we hollow out our feet as well, well, coins will fall into those feet and uh, we'll be able to store a little bit more money into our piggy bank. And at the same time, it will actually shorten the time to 3D print this piggy bank as well. But we have to think about the process first of all. How are we going to go about this so that we can shell out the main part of our body to create our final piggy bank? Well, first of all, the easiest way to do this is to use our main body to cut all of the excess material from our ears, from our feet, from our eyes, from the snout, and so on and so forth. So let's do that. We're going to go up to the combine operation here. As you can see, as we hover over it, it says it joins, cuts, or intersects two or more solid bodies to create a single solid body. So it's not just joining them together but we can cut as well. So let's do that. Let's select that. And so here our target body is the body that we want to keep. And then our tool body is the body that we want to cut away the shape of the other body. So let's select this as our target body. And our tool body is going to be the main one there. And here we want to cut. So as you can see, our foot right now is cut perfectly in line with our body. But if we go okay, our tool body or our main body is going to disappear on us. That's why it's red. So we actually want to select keep tools and go OK. So now if we expand our bodies and we look at this one foot over here, let's go isolate. Now you can see it's perfectly shaped and conformed to our body, which is great. So let's go unisolate there and we'll do the same thing for all of our other feet. I'll do that quickly. Now we'll do the same thing for the ears, the snout, and the tail. Okay, great. So now we've got all these different bodies, but they're perfectly cut to conform to the shape of our primary body. So now we can start combining things that need to be combined. For example, Let's combine our eyes to the main body. So let's select our target body here. And our tool bodies, we can actually pick both eyes. And instead of cut, we want to join. Here we don't want to keep our tools. If we do, it will keep a duplicate of both those eyes. So now we want to go OK. And actually, just before that, and we're going to go back in time before the eyes have been joined. And we're going to combine do a combine operation where this will be our target. Our tool bodies will be the nostrils and here we will cut those out. And now what we want to do is along with the combining of the eyes to the body, we can make that active again. We can select that combine and we can join for our tool bodies all of the feet as well. Okay. So now look at we have one body here, including our eyes our body, our feet. And why are we not joining the snout and the tail at this point? Well, it's because we are actually going to shell this entire body, which again will save time with 3D printing and allow for more money to fall into it. So what we can do is go to our shell command and we're going to select our body and let's move it inside here. Okay, so we're getting alarm. Let's just define it at point one for the shell. So as you can see here, we're getting an alarm. It doesn't like that we're trying to shell out the feet at the same time as the body. So let's just go back there. We're going to go cancel with our shelling operation. We are going to go back before the joining process of the feet to the eyes. And we're going to shell out our body here. So let's do that. We'll select our main body. And here we should be able to bring it in. There we go. And I'm just going to call it an eighth of an inch. Let's go OK. Now, just to see that we've shelled out the inside, let's go to Inspect, Section Analysis, pick our YZ plane. And there we go. It's completely shelled. 
out on the inside. So actually, what we should have done before the shelling is cut the eyes so that there's nothing protruding on the inside of our body. And that's easy to do. Let's go OK. And we can just go back before shelling. And here, we'll turn off our section analysis by going up there. And we'll just do a combine operation. This will be our target, our tool. We'll keep our tool. We'll repeat, do the same thing for the other eye. Great, so now we've got two extra bodies here. Now we can shell it. We can turn on our section analysis. So now our eye is flush with our body, but we'll still have to combine it. So let's do that now. We're gonna go to that stage which is our eyes and our feet. And we can turn off the section analysis here, turn on our other bodies, and we can actually go to this operation and join everything at this point. So let's do that with our tool bodies, our tail, our ears, the snout. And now we should have one single body in our browser. Great. And as we might remember, this is completely shelled out as well. So all we have to do now is create the coin slot and a little plug on the bottom, or we could put a... And so actually, we're not even going to have anything on the bottom of our piggy bank. Originally, I wanted to put a threaded plug or something like that, but we're not going to do that now. In order to get into this piggy bank, you'll have to do it like old style piggy banks and smash it in order to get to the coin. So let's just put the coin slot in the top and call it a day. To do that, we are going to create a construction plane, offset plane here from our X, Y, and just bring it up into space. Doesn't really matter, it can be any location. We're gonna to go to our top view. We can rotate if we want, and we can create a sketch on that construction plane. And here we can create a center point rectangle. And let's call it, let's call it one and a quarter by a quarter inch, finish our sketch. And now we can just extrude it. And instead of a new body, we can go cut. And there we have it. Perfect. So at this point, I'll probably just put a bunch of fillets onto the model in order to make it a little bit prettier. So let's do that. Before I do that, I am going to save it. Okay, so let's go to our fillet operation and select everything that needs to be filleted. So let's do that here. I'll pick those edges. And let's see what point one looks like. Oh, that doesn't let us because this one still needs to be selected there. Hmm, that's not letting us fill it. Maybe it's too big. Let's go to 0 0.05. There we go. Oh yes, that's way too big. So let's go to 0 0.02. Just giving it a little bit more definition there. We'll add a new selection set. Let's put some here as well. Great, we'll call that 0 0.01. Okay, and then I'll add some fillets to the nose. There we go, one to the front there. Maybe a little bit bigger. And then some to the legs as well. So what you can do at this point is just go to your body, right click, and you can save it as a mesh to export to your 3D printer. Or you can do some rendering if you'd like. Uh, you can add some appearances to it. Let's just do that real quick. Press A to get into your appearance dialog box. And I'm gonna type in powder coat. And let's call it, I don't know, blue powder coat. I kind of like that. In order to change it to make it a little bit lighter, I'm gonna right click and edit. And here we can just drag that up a little bit more. I kind of like the light blue. Great, let's go done. And then we can also add some nice gloss, high gloss black paint to the eyes and to the nostrils. So let's go A for that. 
And let's go to faces. We can go black, search for black. And, oh, let's go chrome black. This would actually do a very nice reflective appearance. So make sure to select faces. And we can add that to each. Uh, maybe that's too shiny. So let's go and find paint enamel. I'll just drag and drop that over. Now to select everything at once, so we don't have to select individual faces. Let's do that. And that as well. Actually, I've selected too many. I've selected the inside there, so that's no good. Let's just escape. Okay, let's go back A. Perfect, and we can drag and drop. Oh, we're on body still, let's go faces. Okay, and we'll do the same thing over here. And we'll do the same thing for the nostrils. I'm gonna rotate that and go left to right. Perfect. Select everything at once and add some black enamel paint to the inside there. So there we have it. You have got yourself a piggy bank that you can 3D print. You might very well have to do some post-processing in order to make it so that your 3D printer can actually print it. You might have to cut the piggy bank in half and then glue it later. Uh, you might have to take away any supports from the inside of your piggy bank because that would obviously not help it at all. So congratulations on creating your first form or T-spline model. I hope that you've enjoyed the process of doing this. Until next time, check out our other tutorials and keep learning with the Learn It channel.